Hey what's up, my name is BJ and in this video we're going to be doing a natural light band promo shoot with a band called Snark. Hope you enjoy. Alright, so I've just pulled up. We're on Main Street Mordialic. It is a beautiful day. <laughs> it is a beautiful day. The sun is shining. Got about an hour and a half left of sunlight. There's an old boat yard over there. I'm gonna start over there. Basically just go for a little walk for about 45 minutes before the band gets here. Um, find some cool places to shoot and just plan out the journey a little bit so the smooth, the shoot, so the shoots can run as smoothly as possible basically. So let's do that now. Just gonna take the 24 to 70 for a little bit of a walk. So basically what I'm looking for is just nice, interesting textures. Um, natural light is definitely not my uh, comfort zone. I like to shoot with strobes. I feel like that's a really easy win for me. But I'm trying to find some nice, easy textures that we can walk around and take some really candid style pictures. Last time we did something very bright and happy. It was sort of like shot in inside like a pub sort of thing. Uh, this one, they asked for something a little bit darker, but all the references that they sent me were natural light photos. Um, so we were thinking maybe some black and white, maybe just some gritty textures and make it feel a little bit sort of more of a, a grungy um, punk rock feel. So let's see how we go. Some cool textures around, that's for sure. I can't tell if the billboard in the back ruins or makes it because it's like a kind of interesting contrast. This sort of like dirty, broken ship's hull. Could have the boys sitting on the tire or something, but then there's that big Honda out in the background. Yeah, heaps of what we're looking for around here. Like I said, gritty, dirty textures. It's a beautiful, dark, um, spray-painted steel wall over here, or aluminium, or whatever it is. I think in the afternoon light, these will look really good. I do actually have my strobes in the car. I'm hoping to not use them, uh, but if all else fails, I can just get out the strobes, and I know I can get a really quick, easy win that way. But I want to try and get them as close to the band's reference pictures as possible. But yeah, I think this is definitely the spot. I might go for a little walk. I've still got half an hour till the band arrives. So I'll go for a further walk, see what else I can find. I love all the cracked paint and stuff. That's really cool. Okay. Um, like I said at the end, I might get the lights out and we'll do something a little more cozy, a little more dark. Okay. We'll try and keep it a little bit candid. Okay. So, um, I'll, I'll, I'll help direct you guys. I'm okay. just going to try and not pose you too much. Yeah, so even um, once we sort of set up, I might even just get you guys. I know it's like hard, like it's not natural to be in front of the camera, but I might even get you guys to just, just hang out. talk amongst yourselves, hang out, have a laugh, whatever. And yeah. then if something needs oh, to yeah. change, I'll change an angle of you guys, or I'll get someone to look distance or something. Drums? Yes. And vocals and guitar? And vocals and bass. And vocals and bass. Okay, sweet. Um, and who's the tallest, just out of curiosity? Stephanie's? Um, I'm just sure. Oh, no, the amount of times I had this conversation too, it's just like, it's like, but, it's not, but really, I am wearing boots today, so I don't know. No, nah, right. honestly, the boots won't, won't help. Um, Stefan, as bright as it is, I'm going to keep you on this side. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Maybe we'll have you a little bit back and you can look that way so you don't have to look into the sun. Yes, right. Um, and we'll shift the tire forward a bit. Just move. Um, Pat, I might jump you in over this side as well. And then, Thais, you can either stand on the tire yeah. or you can like have one foot. Oh, that's gross. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> it's like gross. Water. You can either stand on it, you can have one foot on it, or you can sit on the pole or something. Um, oh, he's taller now. Uh, Pat, while you're standing there, um, I want to get you just sort of like hold your hands, just roll them. Um, yeah, play with your cuffs or something. Just, just give you something to do to uh, pick your splinter out. Give you something to do um, just to, to ease your mind a little bit. Um, Stefan, I want you to look this way if you can, or even over there. Turn you in this way, man. That's what I mean. Um, you're good there, man. Just I want you to tilt the head back. Um, um, just look at the boys. Uh, try and. Try you know and me because I'm, I'm just like looking at the distance. 
yeah, well, you guys can just like, you don't have to, you know, freeze where I've put you. Um, you can look down, you can, you can move around a little bit. Um, if you can, try and just pretend like you guys are just hanging out talking to each other. Do we do this all the time? Yeah, I know, just hang together around tires. Around shipwrecks. Yeah. This one just didn't quite turn out to plan. To the eye, it looked really cool. There's that really warm late afternoon sun coming in from the left. Um, maybe actually come forward a little bit, man, so you're in that, in that little bit of light there. Yep, that's it. Perfect, perfect. But I think the problem was it was really hard to edit because the light from the left is so warm coming through and the shadows are a lot cooler, even though they are warmed up a little bit by the kickback, by the reflection from the boat. Um, it was just really hard to edit. There's a couple of nice ones that I think we ended up using, but um, overall this was a warm up, just, just waiting for the other scenes. Like this one, this was a good one. It was nice and evenly lit, nice clean background, and a nice little gradient coming in from the back there on the left. It's funny because this sort of thing is just so unimpressive to look at on the back of the camera, but it's really a nice, lovely, even blank canvas to edit from. And I think these are the ones that turn out the best. That's, that's what I've taken away from this shoot. Sometimes the ones that don't look as cool on the back of the camera give you the most flexibility and options to edit. Look here for me for a sec, guys. Back, can you just tilt the head back a little bit? Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, and chin down. Perfect, man. Ah, oh, a little bit up, a little bit up. <laughs> yeah. Just like split the difference. Three, two, one. Once I had the boys approximately where I wanted them, I just made tiny adjustments, tilting of the head, twisting of the shoulders. The Honda ad's killing my vibe a little bit on this giant billboard, but that's all good. Just little things to affect the feel of the photo. And then apart from that, I tried to keep it as candid as possible because they're not sort of into the whole posed uh, metalcore thing that a lot of my photos are known for. Okay, so here's me switching to the 35 eye lens from Sigma. These are the ones that if I'm going to crush a natural light photo, it's gotta be this one. The sun is nice and low. There's some nice color and textures and lines in the background. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get you on the same level as Matthias there. And Stefan, I'm just gonna put you in the front. Um, I keep putting you in the front only because I feel like you're not really digging the front man sort of vibe. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm not a really fun man. Yeah. if you're watching this, man, I'm so sorry. I knew I was saying your name wrong, but I didn't realize how many times I had said it wrong. Um, in the video, I keep saying Matthias for anyone listening, and I believe it's actually pronounced Matthias. But these ones came out really good. Again, a nice, clean uh, raw file to edit. Like I said, the reason I like this is because the light in the front is very, very even and consistent and flattering, but there's really nice orange tones with shadows and lines, and the background is just kind of interesting. It's not, it's not as bland and as plain as some of the other ones we took. This sort of thing really lends itself to the orange and teal style of edit, and a little bit of grain looks really good on it as well. So we basically just did a lot of different options. We did some sort of um, medium length, we did some close-ups, we did some far ones and like put the boys in the bottom of the frame as well. Here are some of the some of the winners from the shoot. Lots of different options there and I've also shot some with the intention of having some design put around them so there's some some negative space in the frame awesome. of some of them as well. From here we started to do the single portraits. I just wanted to put them in front of this real gritty wall just for some textures. Do you have a side of your face you prefer? Not really. We'll take a few. Both sides are equally perfect. Oh, he's dexterous. To be honest, I don't even think this sort of thing is gonna be used for band purposes, but it actually is really nice to have photos of yourself. One thing that I really like to do is to get my subjects to play with their hands and it does a couple of things. First is it takes your mind off the photo. If you're rolling your hands and balling them and making a fist, it means that you have something to concentrate on so you're not always kind of straining and waiting for those clicks for the, for the photos to happen. So yeah, it takes your mind off and um, 
it actually relaxes the face apart from just the hands because yeah, they don't have that strained expression. Another thing with the hands is depending on what you do with them is depending how your shoulders are going to look. So if you have your hands up nice and high, it's gonna square your shoulders off a little bit. Whereas if you're kind of holding them down weakly, it's gonna round you out and that's not really what you want when you're shooting men. You want men to look nice and broad across the shoulder, at least in my experience anyway. Um, can you lean um, sideways against this? Just like one of these for me. And, just like... and the other thing that I always do is a tiny little squint of the eyes, a little crinkle of the cheeks there, just to get that proper like half smile thing happening. The smile with the eyes instead of with the mouth. Yeah, dude, hold up. It's really good. That's the fastest way that I've found to get a authentic looking expression, something nice. Um, but not too blank and not too metal. Rub them, hold them, play with them. They were really good sports, these guys, though, because, yeah, like I sort of mentioned earlier, I think it's not natural to be in front of a camera. It's not natural to have your picture taken, but they rolled with it and they trusted me, and I really appreciate them for that. All good, man. Thank you so much. Good job. Yep. Hands in pockets to start with. Yep. Um, stand a little bit away. Uh, a little bit away from the fence. Yep. And um, tilt the head slightly and then chin down a little bit. That's it. One. Perfect. Perfect. Honestly, they're just like, just a dream client. They make my life very easy. And um, I love I love working with people like this. Especially, especially when I have the creative control. They're not, they weren't too fast. They had sort of given me the brief and trusted me to make the photos that they needed. So I really enjoyed this job. And here's just the boys looking through the photos. Shoot is finished. It went really well. Natural light is so not my thing, but I really enjoyed doing it and I can't wait to go home and edit these photos. Um, I find natural light they, they're not super impressive on the back of the camera all the time, but man, are they fun to edit natural light photos um, with that orange and teal style of preset. Also, 10 out of 10 client for paying cash on the day. Snark, you are the real MVPs. They're lovely guys. I tried to make them as comfortable as possible in front of the camera because it's a little bit out of their comfort zone, the photo shoot thing, um, but I'm super happy with it and um, I, yeah, I can't wait to look at them on the computer screen. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big fat <coughs> thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.